All right, so I almost didn't do this problem, and then I thought, you know what, it might be a good idea just to go ahead and give it a shot, uh, just to show students again what to do. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, we need to solve for our x, and that's labeled up into an exponent. So um, we're gonna, gonna have to go and apply some properties of logarithms, but before we do that, we need to isolate this, ex this exponent. So to do that, I'm gonna first subtract 13 on both sides, all right? And by subtracting 13 on both sides, you can see that I'm going to have a 28. So I have 8 times 4, 6 minus 2x is going to equal 28. All right. So now I need to um, take this, and now I need to undo the 8. So I'm going to divide by 8. So now I have 4 raised to the 6 minus 2x equals 28 divided by 8. And we notice that that does not go in there evenly. But for right now, I'm just going to leave that. Um, I'm not thinking I'm on top of my game right now. So it's 3.5, um, which isn't too bad. So 28 divided by 8, we'll just leave as a decimal of 3.5. All right, so now, ladies and gentlemen, what I need to do is I need to get this x off the bottom. So there's a couple different ways I can do this. But if I notice, if I take the log of both sides, right now I could convert this to logarithmic equation. To create this to logarithmic equation, it would be log base 4 of 3.5 equals 6 minus 2x. I can also take the log of base 4 on both sides. When doing that, that goes out, and I'm left with 6 minus 2x equals log base 4 of 3.5. Now again, to evaluate this, if you don't have a calculator that you can choose your own base, you're going to have to use the change in base formula. Um, so I'll subtract 6. Subtract 6, and then divide everything. Well, let's get to that last. So I have negative 2x equals, I'm going to have to use the change of base. So I'll just use change of base with natural logarithm. You don't have to. You could use base. You can use the common log, log of 3.5. I'm going to use the natural logarithm, ln of 4 minus 6, and then I'm going to divide everything by negative 2. So therefore, this crazy formula, x equals ln of 3.5 divided by ln of 4 minus 6, all of that, divided by negative 2. Whew. So let's just go ahead and do the parentheses first. So I have ln of 3.5 divided by ln of 4. Make sure you apply your parentheses. Subtract that from 6, and then divide by negative 2. Therefore, x is approximately 2.55. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve an exponential equation. Thanks.